The shelling began at 7 a.m. Men, women and children are among the dead, most of them civilians. According to eyewitnesses, it's the worst day yet experienced by residents in the Syrian town of Qusair as government forces battle to drive out rebels. Well, these are the pictures of the fighting shown by a Hezbollah-run Lebanese TV station. A few minutes ago, I spoke to Rifai Tamas, an activist inside Qusair. He told me the government forces have been shelling the town in this Discriminately. Today at about 7 a.m., regime forces and backed by Hezbollah forces started bombarding the city. Very intense shelling. About, you know, on average, there, uh, there was about uh, 40 shells per minute. And they also used two land to land missiles with very huge destructive capacities. Now, this shelling lasted for about six or seven hours. Now, during this shelling, Hezbollah forces and regime forces started making advances inside the city, and they succeeded in doing so. However, uh, the FSA pushed them back after fierce fighting, so they were able to regain control of the areas that Hezbollah and regime forces took control of. Now, you've been in Qusair for the past few days since these attacks began. Was this the worst that you'd seen over the past few days? Absolutely. The most dreadful day I've ever seen in my life. I've ever seen during uh, these past two years of the revolution. I mean, uh, there was Sunday, last Sunday, it was, it, was, it was also violent, very intense shelling, but today it was even more intense especially the, the number of the martyrs. About, so far we've got 40 martyrs and more than 180 people were wounded as well. And most, the majority of these, those people were civilians. I assure you they were civilians because the Free Syrian Army were on the front lines fighting Hezbollah forces. But civilians were trapped inside the city. Now we tried to, to, to get them out, to get them out of the city. But the regime forces and Hezbollah forces started, you know, shelling us and shooting at any car, any any vehicle that that would come out of the city. So what what we what we did was put all the people inside or underground in underground shelters. However, we don't have many underground shelters, so even those shelters are not enough. People are packed inside, and when a land-to-land -land missile hit these very shelters they would surely collapse. And many people, and indeed on Sunday, many people got killed because of that. Because when, when, when a missile landed on one of these shelters. So they're not safe at all. Have you managed to speak to any members of the FSA? What are they saying? How worried are they about a possible advancement from the government and Hezbollah forces? Mm. Yes, I mean, you know, um, Almost everybody here in the city are FSA members, apart from the civilians. I mean, I have two brothers who are in the FSA, and I've talked to them, and I've talked to other, other leaders from the FSA, and they all assured me that we still have the upper hand here. Now, we don't know how much longer we can, we can, we can stand, because the situation is getting, is getting very worse, especially because of the use of these, you know, as I said, land-to-land -land mis missiles, and the use of the, the, uh, the fighter jets. But their, their morals were high, they were like absolutely optimistic and they, they, they assured me that Hezbollah is not going to get inside al -Qusay. Forgive me for asking an obvious question and you've hinted at it, but what is the feeling like inside the town of the ordinary people just caught in the middle of all this fighting? They're absolutely terrified, they like scared for their own, for, for their own lives. I mean, as I said, they tried to escape, they couldn't. And so the, 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 the sad thing here is the humanitarian crisis. Now, the Free Syrian Army is very, is very brave. They're not afraid of anything. But the problem is the civilians. Now, the Free Syrian Army has said, try to, to, to get them out of the town. But we couldn't. So um, people are very terrified. There is a lack of food, lack of medicine, lack of everything. We, we haven't got any water, any electricity for months.